This opportunity will help you and your family immigrate to Canada as a permanent resident. All you need to do is watch this video and attend the immigration visual job fair I will share with you at the end of this video. This opportunity is very unique because I will show you how recruiters in Canada can recruit you via a visual fair. In case you don't know, a visual fair is just an online meeting. I will show you how to register for this visual job fair and how to submit your CV. All you have to do is attend the job fair and if the recruiters think that you are a great candidate, you might just be on your way to Canada as a permanent resident. Before we get started properly, make sure to give this video a like because you'll definitely gain value from this video and also subscribe if you are not a subscriber. This is Eugene Brown and you are welcome to the homeland of international opportunities. Let's get it started. So guys, I will take you to my screen so that we explore this opportunity together. So you can see right here, this is the immigration fair and it is going to be at the province of Newfoundland and Labrador in Canada. What you have to do is register for this event and attend this event and you might just be on your way to Canada as a permanent resident. As you can see on this very post on immigration.ca, employers in Newfoundland and Labrador can recruit foreign workers via visual fair. That is quite interesting. And if you come down a bit, you can see right here that Newfoundland and Labrador is hosting a series of visual Canada job fairs to help employers recruit more foreign workers to resolve the ongoing labor shortage. So there's ongoing labor shortage in Canada and this is an opportunity for you to be in Canada as a permanent resident. Just keep on watching this video and we'll get into it. I will leave you to go through the details on this website and I will take you through the important details. So if you come down on this website, you can see the regions that are going to participate in this job fair. So right here is a table for the schedule for the job fair and, and you can see regions like East Asia, South East Asia and Oceania and date for that is September 20th. I think that has passed already but for Africa it is going to be October 25th and um, that is still in the future. So I think you are watching this video at the right time. For Europe and Central Asia, the date is November 16th and for the Middle East, South Asia, the date is January 24th, that is 2024. And for Americans, the date is March 27th, that is 2024. So you can take note of the local time in your home country as, as well as the international time in Newfoundland and Labrador. So what do you need to do right now? So what you need to do is to access the specific pages for each of these um, regions. So for Africa, for Europe, for Central Asia and others. So you need to access the specific page in the um, Newfoundland and Labrador website. And I already found that for Africa. I'm going to open it right here. And that is what we have right here. And you can see Visual Immigration Fair Africa, October 25th. 2023 and this is the time and here's the button register now so if you already registered you can log in i am going to teach you how to access this page through a simple google search and also for other regions through a simple google search towards the end of this video so for now let's keep on going let me show you how you can register and submit your cv for this fair but before we go into that, let's see why we should attend this fair. So why should you attend this fair? Look at a lot of interesting benefits why you should attend this fair. So you can see right here, you will receive direct access to employers hiring in your feed. You will also be able to network with employers. You will be able to upload your resume or your CV which employers can review. And if they find it interesting, definitely they are going to look forward to contacting you or meeting you at the fair. And also you'll be able to attend a live immigration program uh, information session and ask questions directly to immigration officers. I think that is quite interesting. And um, also you'll be able to learn about the steps to immigrate to Newfoundland and Labrador and also learn about what it is like to live in Newfoundland and Labrador in terms of cost of living, the lifestyle, the jobs, the salaries, the population size and much more. So I think this is quite an interesting opportunity that you do not want to miss. So once you are on this page, you can go over to the top and click on register now and that will definitely take you to the page 
where you have to put in your information like your first name your last name your email address and then you can select your citizenship your country of residence education level your work experience and you can see right here you have to upload your cv and um quite interesting you can also see there's a cv template right here that you need to follow so um, let's look at that cv template quickly and right here you can see the cv template and um, what you need to include on the cv for example your name and contact information so they have asked you not to use a picture and you should not include your date of birth so you can also see things you should include like your name your phone number email address and um, you can see a professional summary at least a few things that explains why you are a capable and reliable employee so you also need to include your skills and abilities so these are cool informations that can guide you to um, update your cv so you have to include your work experience so things you should include or relevant work experience and also um, include the main duties associated with that position also need to include your education like list of most recent educational achievements and also include any professional certifications that you might have and if you come down right here you can also see uh, a, a sample like how it should look like your name the summary the work experience as well as education and the relevant skills and professional certificates so it's just a simple cv and once you have that you can upload and you're good to go so once you've uploaded your cv you can go ahead to fill out the other questions like the language if you have if english is your first language or not and then um, have you taken french language proficiency so you just have to answer these questions what questions do you have about living in newfoundland and labrador so if you have your questions you can put them right here i advise you put in the questions anyway and then you can also see the the other questions here what are you hoping to gain from attending the virtual fair so you also want to like include those right there so once you've done everything you click on this boss i am not a robot and then you can click on the submit button right here and once you've done that you are good to go so that is it basically so you can check out the frequently asked questions and other informations that you can find on the website so you can also check out the frequently asked questions you might get relevant answers to questions that you might have so you just go through the frequently asked questions and i believe that would definitely help you so right, so right now let's talk about assessing the link to register for all the visual fairs so i've kept the link to the visual fairs for africa europe asia all the links to all the regions right here on my telegram channel so if you head over to my telegram channel you're going to find links to the immigration.ca website for the links for africa for europe and asia a link for east and south east asia so all the links to register for this event are in my telegram channel what you have to do right now is to click on my telegram channel link in the description box also on the comment section that will take you right to my telegram channel where you can access all the links and also make sure to join my telegram channel for more interesting updates like this so guys what do you think about this interesting update let me know in the comment section if you're going to apply to this job fair in canada to meet again stay blessed and don't stop trying